Well, is it ready? Have you ladies secrets to discuss? Don't be inquisitive. Charming, a scent of violets. Impertinence. So you know about perfumes too. You certainly know how to dance. Stop looking now, go away. Is this some magic brew you ladies are preparing on Midsummer Eve that will reveal the future, show you the face of your future husbands? You need sharp eyes to see him. Pour it into a bottle and cork it well. Come now, Jean. Dance the chatiche with me. I don't wish to seem disrespectful, but I had promised this dance to Christine. Well, Christine can have another dance with you, can't you, Christine? Won't you lend me, Jean? Well, it's hardly up to me. If Madame condescends, it's hardly his place to refuse. Well, go on, Jean. Thank Madame for the honour. To be frank, and without wishing to offend, I wonder if it's wise for Miss Julie to dance twice in succession with the same partner. You know how these people talk. Talk? Why should they talk? What do you mean? If Madame doesn't understand, I must speak more plainly. It looks bad if you show a preference for one servant while others are waiting to be similarly honoured. Preference? What an idea! I'm astounded! I am the mistress of this house. And if I condescend to honour my servants by attending their dance, then when I take the floor, I want to dance with someone who knows how to lead. I don't want to be made to look ridiculous. As Madame commands, I'm at your service. Don't regard it as a command. Tonight, we're just ordinary people, trying to be happy. And all rank is laid aside. Come. Now give me your arm. Don't worry, Christine. I won't steal your love.
she really is mad. What a way to dance. You went grinning at her behind her back. What do you make of it? I expect she's got a period coming on, and she always acts strange. Well, you gonna dance with me now? You're not angry with me for going off like that? No, a little thing like that doesn't bother me. Besides, I know my place. You're a sensible girl, Christine. You'd make a good wife. Well, you're a fine gentleman running off and leaving your partner like that. On the contrary, Miss Julie, as you see, I hasten back to the partner I forsook. You know, you dance magnificently. Why are you wearing your uniform on Midsummer's Eve? Go and take it off at once. If your ladyship would step outside for a moment, I have my black coat here. Does my presence embarrass you? Can you not even change a coat with me here? Very well, then. Go into your room. Or stay. And I'll turn my back. With your ladyship's permission. Christine. Jean is very familiar with you. Are you engaged to him? Engaged? I suppose you could call it that. You suppose? Well, you've been engaged yourself, madam. We were properly engaged. Didn't come to anything, though, did it? Très gentil, Monsieur Jean. Très gentil. Vous voulez plaisanter, madame? Et vous voulez parler français? Where did you learn that? Switzerland. I was a wine waiter in one of the larger hotels in the Selm. You look quite the gentleman in those tales. Oh, <gasps> charmant. Oh, you're flattering me. Flattering you? My natural modesty forbids me to assume you'd pay a truthful compliment to one so humble as myself. So I assumed you were exaggerating, for which I believe the polite word is flattery. <laughs> Where did you learn to speak like that? You must have spent a lot of your time at the theater. Yes, and I've been around a little. But you were born here, weren't you? Oh, yes. My father worked on the next farm. I used to see you when I was a child, but of course, you wouldn't remember me. Really? Oh, yes. I remember one occasion... No, I shouldn't mention that. Oh, yes, tell me. Go on, just this once. Uh, no, I couldn't. Uh, some other time, perhaps. Oh, some other time means never. Is it really so dangerous you can't tell me now? No, it's not dangerous. I'd rather not. Look at her. A charming wife she'd make. I expect she snores, too. No, she doesn't do that. But she talks in her sleep. How do you know? I've heard her. Why don't you sit? I wouldn't permit myself to do that in your presence. But if I order you to? Then I shall obey. Sit, then. No, wait. Can you get me something to drink first? I'm not sure what we have in the ice cabinet. Only beer, I think. Only beer? My tastes are very simple. I prefer it to wine. <laughs> 